Welcome to my chariot. Hello everyone. Welcome to my chariot. Today I am going to adjust the tappet clearance of my bike Yamaha Gladiator. And the importance of adjusting the tappet clearance, the optimum performance of the engine so that you get the required uh, compression and uh, proper uh, ignition uh, and proper efficiency of the bike basically. So in a four stroke engine, the uh, head and the valve assembly play a very important role. So it has to be in an optimum condition and I suggest you uh, adjust the clearance of the uh, uh, bike for every let's say six to ten thousand kilometers. So let's start the work and before that let me show you the tools required for adjusting the valve clearance. Here you go everyone this is the tool set required for tappet clearance adjustment. First and foremost you need to open the inspection cover of the tappets. The size required for Yamaha Gladiator tappet inspection cover. The spanner size required is 24 and this is the you know, T handle or what is it torque handle. Uh, I believe the magnet of flywheel size is around 18 so I have got this 18. Also got 19 let's hope it matches with 18. And this is the uh, tappet, uh, you know, the nut which holds the tappet uh, firmly. So this size is 8 mm and this is 9 mm. This is the tappet tool. This is very important. This is the tappet tool it's used to adjust the tappet so that it becomes nearer to the, uh, you know, uh, the rocker arm uh, that is the valve, valve head. So stem sorry so this tool is very important and also the thing if you are a professional and you want to adjust it according to the service manual or according to the book so these are the sizes of the feeler gauge guys in metric as i said by standard yamaha gladiator requires 0 0.08 mm of uh, inlet valve clearance 0 0.8, 0 0.08, and the exhaust valve clearance should be 0 0.10. It is different for different bikes, so I suggest you go through the service manual to check how to uh, or to check the, what is the size of the uh, valve clearance, uh, valve tappet clearance. And if you go by the imperial, that is in inches, the size for inlet is 0 0.003, and for exhaust is 0 0.004 of an inch. So let's start. So the things you need to remove is this inspection for the inlet cover. This is the exhaust. So as I said, 24 is the size. Already loosened it a bit for the video. So you remove that. And you remove this. Anyway, you remove that. You see I've opened the inspection covers for the tappet so you remove the spark plug of the bike the size for the spark plug for my bike is size 16 you remove the spark plug so that it is easy for you to you know rotate the flywheel so now let's start by positioning the flywheel to uh, top dead center that is the compression stroke be careful that even the exhaust stroke is also you know when it rotates and comes to the exhaust stroke the flywheel shows the position of T so make sure that you have adjusted the flywheel to the position of compression stroke okay, let's do that this is the flywheel inspection cover and this is the uh, inspection uh, screw you could say wherein you could come to know whether it is in the top dead center with the T mark so let's try to open this it's open yeah. oh. 
actually done with the o-ring right. careful with this o-ring So when you start adjusting the valve clearance, make sure the engine is cold and it's not hot because it's very difficult when the engine is hot and you will not be able to adjust the clearance. So now I have rotated the you know, flywheel and the position that is here is showing in the top dead center. But I see that there is no play in the valve tappets. There must be a slight play. I believe this is on the, uh, you know, the exhaust side of the, you know, uh, exhaust side of the cam. So I think I have to rotate it another cycle till I reach the same position, and I will have the top dead center in compression stroke. Uh, if by chance you miss that, go in the counterclockwise direction. Do not go in the counterclock, uh, you know, uh, clockwise direction. By doing so you will you know make you'll be rubbing against the teeth of the starter clutch and which would damage the starter clutch so avoid that always go in the direction of the engine and don't go against the direction of the engine so i'll rotate this once again and hopefully i'll reach to the position of top dead center in the compression stroke i have reached the top dead center by rotating the flywheel and I am also feeling that there is some slight clearance in the tappet. That means the valves are not pushing against the tappet. So this is the right time we could start our adjustment. These are the uh, two you know, the filler gauges you require. So they are so thin. These are the days required. And the feel between the clearance should be like uh, you are pulling something uh, from a yeah, you are pulling these filler gauges between two magazines that is how the feel should be and uh, that is when we can say that you have you know adjusted it perfectly you can see the tappet here so we're going to loosen this nut and fix the tappet tool from above here and increase or reduce the uh, you know the clearance by rotating that it's just like a screw system you have to insert the filler gauges in between that in between that and that is where you can say that the uh, clearance is more or less so let's start with adjusting this I'm feeling this. The track seems to be okay on the exhaust side.
going you see that need to clean this before installing so I have you know, installed uh, all the caps I'll I'll fix this power plug back turning on the ignition let's start to see how the wall clearance has come out So I think this is a good to go. So if you want to adjust your wall clearance, you could do that in the same or similar manner. So until next time, thank you. Goodbye.